Hey guys, uh, today I bring you Brimstone's Krylos for a level 90 plus EK. Uh, so this is a little cave in the southeast of Krylos. It's not very popular, uh, but it's pretty good for tasks. On this level, you can do Brimstone Bugs and Giant Spiders here. And the profit's pretty good. Experience is pretty average, but it's an interesting place that I, I think is cool for people to check out. So let's take a look at the results. Um, as you can see, I was making about 600k raw, which is which is okay, you know, it's nothing amazing, but it's it's pretty decent, uh, uh, which is about 900k on 150%, and the loot, uh, you're looking at about 150k profit an hour. Um, this will depend on the price of the brimstone fangs on your server, because because this is where the profit comes from. The profit comes from brimstone fangs, so make sure to have those valued on market value. Usually, they're somewhere around 15k, I think, on most servers. So if you get quite lucky, you get a few of those. You know, that's that's great profit. Difficulty, I give about a six out of ten. It's actually a pretty difficult spot. It's probably the hardest one around level 90 that I'm going to recommend. Uh, because brimstone bugs actually do quite a lot of damage, so uh, be careful for that. They can combo quite quite a lot coupled with giant spiders, which also have a pretty high physical attack. And it's, it can get a bit dicey, so make sure to be paying attention. Uh, with regards to Beast Jerry, it'll take about four hours for Brimstones and giant spiders, and about three hours for Wailing Widows. Uh, you will not need any access quest level 90 plus as I already mentioned you will need your best two-handed physical weapon with free imbue slot You will need a dwarven ring uh, They do make you drunk quite a lot So I do recommend using a dwarven ring and this place can effectively be hunted by knights paladins and mages uh, Perhaps even a duo, but I do think you might run out of respawn Maybe a duo on slightly lower level uh, probably at 90 it might not be very good uh, and I recommend all standard imbuements, prioritizing physical protection followed by plus skill gear. As you can see in the input analyzer, the brimstone bugs do deal uh, the highest amount of damage, as I mentioned, and you're going to be taking quite a lot of uh, poison damage. Moving on, uh, supplies per hour. I use about 800 strong mana potions per hour and about five great health potions. Uh, it's, it's not too difficult, so I don't need that many health potions, but do make sure to have a few at least. Uh, charms on A, wheel on A, and for the character in the video, you'll see a level 92 EK with 106, 106 sword skill with loyalty. Uh, taking a quick look at the route, so, uh, tch, 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 I'm just thinking, I think I may have made a small mistake here. I think this is minus one and this is minus two, not minus two and minus three. So, anyway, uh, so minus one, I, you come in through here. And the entrance to minus two is right here. So let's start with looking at minus two because this is the main hunting ground. And I understand it's quite difficult to see, but this isn't my fault. This is the fault of the map that there's so much under that it's quite difficult to see. Anyway, I'll try, I'll try and do my best uh, to illustrate how I run around here. So this is minus two. Normally I'll do something like this. There's usually like a pull around here. I'll do a pull around here. Uh, I'll go up, I'll usually do a pull around here. I'll then go through here, do a pull around here. I'll go down here, do a pull around here. Uh, I usually go down here, do another pull, go like this, do another pull somewhere around here, go back to the center, do another pull uh, here. At this point, I will just go up to minus one real quick uh, to do a little clear because otherwise there might not be enough respawn. So I'll come out here, I'll do a pull around here and I'll go up somewhere like here trying to get all the monsters from here, from here, from here, and just do like one big pull in the center. Uh, mostly Wailing Widows from what I remember. I don't believe there's any giant, giant spiders here on minus one. And then I will go all the way back to minus two and repeat what I do here. Uh, so that's that's what I have for you today. I think this place is pretty fun. It's it's quite a, quite a different place. Not many people hunt here. It's, uh, you know, it's quite forgotten, but it's actually decent. Like I say, you know, the main draw is that you do two tasks here at a time. You unlock some beast cherries, which are otherwise quite hard to get. So, uh, yeah, I think it's interesting. You can get some profit as well from uh, some imbuement items. So it's pretty good. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm now going to show you a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. Thank you very much, guys, for all of your support. And then I'm going to play you the video. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.